everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Stilo and Cree here with a new video for you all today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with our content. Now, today we are very excited to check out Coffee Island. The creator's name is Coffee. She's uh, based in Hong Kong and she has put in 1900 hours into her island and her island is horror themed so we thought it was perfect 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 for this newest update where so many new halloween items and spooky items were added to the game so we are super excited uh some awesome villagers here and for anyone interested in checking this out now for yourself we have the dream address right there at the bottom of the screen. Now we're gonna do an overlay here and we're gonna go ahead and put uh, Coffee's Island map right here, which has some additional details. Uh, as you can see, it still has the dream address uh, at the top. It has Coffee's Instagram and Twitter handles up there as well on the top right. We'll go ahead and take what looks like a path down. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, this is so cool. So it looks like, it looks like Coffee left a bunch of different uh, items for us to check out. Oh, who's this? Coffee! Welcome to my hell. Oh yeah. That's where we're at right now. Um, going down this way, and as you can see, very, very spooky looking town. Love the custom path going throughout the use of the black flowers, the black roses, black tulips. As you can see a lot, it's at night. So very, very clutch that coffee did that. Um, different skulls around, skull radios, love the kind of purple and green undertones going on throughout the entire island so far. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we are loving it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, continue up this way. Oh, this is spoopy. Love the carriage, all these pumpkins. Hello there, you look bloody. Whoa, look at this background though. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, is this the, um, this looks like it's the resident the Resident Evil home, yes! Umbrella Corporation! Oh, what an awesome way to start off the tour. But first of all, oh my gosh. The use of the, the, the fencing, the telephone booths and everything. Oh, this is so sick. This is so sick. All right, so we're gonna take a quick look inside. Oh, this is so, like, spooky. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh my gosh, this gives you kind of like one of those, like, um, castle slash chapel feels like in the video games and everything like that. With the path down, almost like you're gonna go to, like, fight a boss battle or something. Oh, love the use of the different furniture in here. Are those the upright lockers backwards? It looks like they are. With a bunch of the um, candles uh, all, all throughout. Love the use of the custom simple panels there, the painting right there, different use of the gold items, the white marble flooring and that background on the wallpaper, really making the red colors pop in this room. Oh, this is so cool. This is so reminiscent of like the throwback Resident Evil game being like in a very, very dark room, seeing like blood all around and everything, knowing that you're gonna come up with enemies, maybe them even being in the lockers and stuff. Oh, this is so sick. Oh my gosh, Coffee did so good with this. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and I love, love, love this right here. The whiteboard and everything, almost like they were like putting some things together um, trying to figure something out before, you know, an accident happened <laughs> in the room. Oh, this is super dope and love the consistency of the, um, 
the umbrella tags and the symbols like throughout the um, exterior and interior of the home too. Whoa, it looks like one of the like library rooms again. This this whole vibe is like so creepy and reminiscent of the actual Resident Evil games and everything. Low lighting. Love the use of the um, of these uh, old school like film player lights and everything in the room, giving that interesting like low lighting effect in the room, which is how it was in the video games. <sighs> Love the use of the zombies right there on the signposts. This library overall looks really dope. Looks like the um, uh, bookshelf wallpaper with actual bookshelves in front of it too and this palace flooring giving it a very regal feel as well. Very very dope room and I love the use of all the artwork. Ooh, another spooky room. Again, love the use of the low lighting, love the use of the signposts with the uh, different like zombies and creatures on them. Love the like old school furniture, old school feel of this whole area. Again, um, very reminiscent of the throwback games and everything. And the random blood splatters all over the place. Love it. All right, now upstairs. Ooh, spoopy dining area. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah, this looks super dope. Look at this wall set up with the fireplace and the um, uh, antique furniture and all that stuff and the decor on the wall. Super nice and well done. But again, love the use of the, the zombies here on the, these little signposts, the artwork all over the wall and the, uh, the statues. Love all this gold like on the table from the lights and the plate sets. Super dope and creepy room. Whoa, so this is like the lab for Umbrella Court. That's so dope. Oh my gosh. Like where they work. Yeah, where they work on everything. All the stuff that calls the outbreaks and everything like that in the games and the original ones. Oh, that's so cool. This wallpaper is perfect. Whoa. I don't even know if we've seen this before, but this works so well with the room. The servers are perfect. Oh, this is so sick. And those bear life fish are so perfect for this. Oh man, this is so freaking cool. And again, the use of the uh, umbrella symbols and everything throughout. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so that was the first house. That was insane. Oh man, that's so crazy. Let's see here. Whoa. This is so creepy. Oh my gosh, look at this place. So it's like a chapel, but like a cold chapel. Whoa, hold on, are those wings in the back? Yeah, they are. Like a corpse bride. Whoa, that's so crazy. Love, love, love the decor in this room from the wallpaper, the floor and the jail bars over the wedding pipe organ right there. Statue here, the wedding pews right there throughout the area. Oh, this is so cool. Whoa, and we didn't even know we we're gonna see a reference to it. That's so sick. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so creepy. And this teacup ride. Oh, that's so perfect for this room. And of course, the red balloons. We have it right there. Oh, this is so, so perfect. And of course, the rain and stormy background because that's when Georgie, like, you know, um, had the incident with it. Oh, that's so crazy with Pennywise. Whoa. 
whoa, look at the, whoa, how did, how did she make these? Are these beanies? They look like eyeballs. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is such a cool room. It's like a summoning room or something. Oh my gosh, this is so dope. The colors, the purple undertones with the purple hyacinth lamps and everything from the flooring and um, the rug and everything. Oh, that's so freaking dope. Oh, this is such an awesome house. And island, oh my gosh. Whoa, and here's the Chucky room <laughs> from Child's Play. Oh, this is so dope. Super freaking creepy movie, man. Oh man, that's so crazy. Love the consistency of the um, the red and yellow throughout the room, of course. The so, Some of the uh, pop-out colors from like the the movie and the um the ads and everything the use of the dolls oh this is this right here oh my god freaking thing of nightmares man this is such an amazing house the detail even like the bloody footprints like holy moly this is so cool this is a really freaking dope island charlie holy crap man whoa oh this is such a dope room oh there's jack oh the nightmare before christmas what what oh that's so dope how many movie references are we gonna see this is so cool oh my gosh that's so sick did she customize those oh my gosh or, or maybe she found them i don't know but regardless it looks so cool and look at even the um the table with the cloth is customized with the like the um, the blood on it and everything and we have of course the spooky wallpaper and flooring in this room makes sense it makes a lot of sense and just straight up Halloween TF out. Love it. Oh, this is so cool. Saw? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the little tricycle. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it's like his lab where he like sets everything up and like plans everything. And then of course the jail bars because he has like um, all the people like locked up and everything because they have to like decide like what's more important, their life or like a limb or something. Oh, those movies were crazy. They got really, really extra crazy or whatever towards the end or whatever. But I remember really, really liking the first like couple ones or whatever. I was like, whoa, they're like so gory and everything. Oh gosh. And this like the security like wallpaper here so that he can like keep an eye on everything. Oh, that's so sick. And of course, love, love, love the use of the little blood splatters and everything going on around, even on the clothing, the servers, of course, so like keep track of everything, the different lights. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Oh man, this, this island, this island is so freaking cool, y'all. Oh my gosh. So this is the pumpkin farm right out here. It kind of gives you that like spooky, like UFO Halloween type sci-fi feel. Super freaking dope. Love, love, love this. This is the pumpkin castle. Oh, this is so cool. So uh, a castle essentially made with a bunch of different items, including the wedding wedding pipe organs, different um, Halloween items, lighthouse and different sample panels and everything. Super, super dope. Continue the tour going up here. This is the Spectre Street. Whoa. Oh, this is, this is super creepy. Oh my gosh, look at all the simple panels and everything, the customization all throughout from the 
stalls, simple panels and everything, all the faces just looking at you. Holy moly. Love, love, love the use of the um, different lights, all the red lights and everything going on throughout here. Very, very, very dope and creepy area around here. This is some creepy stuff, y'all. Oh my gosh. Again, look at all those just like faces, like eyeing you all over no matter where you walk. Holy moly. And then here would we have the Cherry Street. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Cherry Blossoms. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, this is the Butcher's Farm? Whoa. <laughs> okay. This is creepy. Okay, so this is the butcher's farm, so might see some bodies up in here. Holy moly. Oh, this is some creepy stuff. I just literally shivered. Whoa, this is so spooky and pretty at the same time, man. Whoa, love the use of the cherry blossom items in here. Oh, this looks so ominous. Let's just go anyways. Whoa! Now this shrine is like super like regal. Look at all the gold, y'all. Holy moly. Love the use of, again, the different masks there. Oh, those are Keaton masks, I believe. And, or fox masks. And the um, little uh, Golden little lucky cats. The orange ice items or frozen items look so dope in this room. Especially with those imperial lights. Oh, this is such a sick room. Love, love, love all the decor and the customization going on. So, not 100% sure if these villagers are still alive. But, this definitely looks like the classroom or school room with a lot of villager posters on the wall and some pictures on the desks. And I can't tell if these are the current villager students or villagers or if they were um, the previous villagers that used to reside on the island if you catch my drift. Oh, that is a spooky, Spooky painting right there on the ground. Do y'all see that right there on the right? Oh, that's so cool. Love, love the use of the spooky classroom. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> these freaking, these freaking like mirrors are so creepy. But love, love, love this like Really creepy, like, bathroom. Oh my gosh. All right. Gonna, gonna get out of here, but this, this is such a freaking creepy bathroom. Just like as soon as you get in there and just like to see those eyes just like blaring at you. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is how I want to sleep <laughs> right Right under those faces. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking creepy. Oh my gosh, this is so dope. Oh, freaking love, love, love these rooms. Love the lighting, love the decor, the wallpaper, flooring, and like rug combos, all the customized like uh, simple panels, kimonos, and just everything. The kimono stands and um, the paintings all, all over the walls and everything. Oh, they're so dope. Oh, hey there, buddy. I am resurrected from here. Oh, snap. Oh, that is very creepy. Whoa. Check this out. That's so creepy. 
all the bloody footprints and the, just the shoes right there. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. All right, so from this alien space, it looks like we have landfill. Oh, that looks like that's the area to the right. And then it looks like we have the devil's garden. Whoa, hold on, how do I get there? How do we, uh, how do we get over there? Oh, can we hop? Oh yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh, this is so cool. So this looks like it's the devil's garden. That's so freaking cool. Oh, you see that statue right there in the background? With the moon right there? That looks so sick. But love, love, love the use of the, again, different custom floor paths, different black and purple roses. She did an awesome job with um, utilizing the uh, frozen items in, in different colors throughout the island. I don't know if y'all caught that. Even in one of the interior rooms, she was able to use them in the, with the orange glow. This one, of course, is purple is perfectly fitting for this area because then we have the purple hyacinth lamp, purple nova lights up above, that purple crescent moon chair in the background. Yeah, very, very, very dope and awesome detail on this island. So this is a red spot. So whenever he visits the island, he'll have this little area for his dark market with all of his haunted looking artwork now. And I can't see this artwork the same anymore. It just all looks so haunted and like, Halloweenish to me now. That's so crazy and love the use of this custom floor path here to kind of separate this market from the other areas. The jail bars as well. Oh yeah, we can. Oh yeah, we can right here. Look at this pirate ship. Oh, that's so dope. And all the skeletons and everything. The cannons, symbol panels for like the sides and everything. All the different pirate items, of course. Oh, this is so cool. The Nightmare Before Christmas Party. Oh, whoa, snap. The custom flooring, the custom simple panels, all the different customized items. Oh, this is so freaking cool. This is so throwback. Oh my gosh. We are obsessed with this island. Oh my gosh. Like we knew people were gonna make Halloween Islands, but we did not expect, I guess, or know to expect this level of creativity. This is incredible. A little cemetery here for, wait a minute, Audie. We saw you, okay. This definitely looks like a classroom or school room with a lot of villager posters on the wall and some pictures on the desks. And I can't tell if these are the current villager students or villagers. So we just put two and two together. You, you are not alive anymore. All right, we're gonna not go in the cemetery area then. Um, moving on with the tour. This is one of those roller coasters that like swings back and forth. Oh, that's dope, y'all. That is dope. So you just ca uh, uh, cop a seat here and then it just like goes and swings back and forth and probably goes all the way around. I would absolutely pass out. There you have it, everyone. We just finished touring Coffee Island. And to say that this was like, an amazing Halloween island would be an understatement. This was way more than we could have ever expected. Oh my gosh, we're obsessed. Coffee did an amazing job. We're gonna drop uh, her info in the description. So make sure y'all um, take a look and, and follow her on like uh, Twitter and Instagram and everything to keep up with her island and her updates. Um, Again, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. 
and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with our content. So, you know, just takes two seconds to click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And um, as always, we hope you all are staying well and staying safe. And we will see you next time.